Show us your book. What's that book you got in your hand? What's that book? You see the book? Bubbles, bubbles. Is it a good book? You start the unbuckling process. Hard to do it one hand. You're not going to help. Well, hey everybody, sorry, no video on Monday. I was actually working. Go figure. And I was really caught in, caught up in some really cool stuff that was kind of fun and uh, that seldom happens at work. So I stayed really focused and time got away from me. So I didn't have time to edit the video at lunch. Um, that's all right. I'll make up for it, I swear. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is kind of crazy. Two days in a row now we've had to uh, check out this book. Oh, bummer. We've had to check out a book from the uh, daycare because my co-vlogger, back there, see her, she uh, kind of flipped out about this book. Um, I guess she got some sort of emotional attachment to this uh, Elmo book. Question of the day. Would you use a website that would make you safer when trying to sell goods online? Boy, that messed things up. Let's put that back. Tonight we're on our own. See the book? Did you see the book? It's Bubbles Bubbles book. But anyway, tonight we're on our own. My wife is going out to her book club. Then this weekend, a few of the girls from the book club are just going on an overnight slumber party, for lack of a better word. And uh, so I'm on my own there. So you might get a lot of vlogs of just the baby. <laughs> Who knows? <sighs> Did you guys see the video of the airplane that got hit by the Airbus uh, A380 plane? That giant. It looked like a toy out there. The way it, when it bumped the tail, it really it looked like a toy. Now I'm not going to do video reviews, uh, but. Maybe I can go grab a uh, screenshot of it or something and try to find it, but, you know, I'll leave that stuff to Ray Williams Johnson. But, yeah, I thought it was hilarious. I was like, oh, my God. And then I started thinking to myself, what did those people inside that plane think when that hit, when that other plane hit it? Because they haven't interviewed any of those people yet, which I'd love to hear what they thought. And, you know, I just hope that the idiot that always stands up first before they're actually at the gate in an airplane... I hope he got slammed to the ground, because there's always one. You're, you're taxiing, you're pulling up, please don't take your seatbelt off till we've actually stopped at the gate. Some guy, ta -ta, ah, I got my stuff out of the overhead bin, I'm, I'm in a hurry, <laughs> and wham. <laughs> that I thought was awesome. Uh, did you guys see that the flip is going to go away from Cisco? I totally... I have been dying to get my hands on a flip. I have a, a JVC Evario, and it's kind of a heavy, you know, it's a handheld. And it's not convenient for quick vlogging. It takes it seems like forever to boot up. It's not small and, and easily totable. You know, it's a camera. I, I don't have it in my pocket, you know. it's. And then they're, they're saying that they're getting away with it because cameras... You all right back there? Cam, there's, there's cameras now, or phones that have better video you know, possibilities on them. So why not just use your iPhone or whatever? Thing is, I've watched other people's iPhone channels and the quality is not that good. So I don't know what Cisco's talking about because in my view, I haven't seen a, a phone that can handle the video quality yet. So maybe I'm missing something, but it just bums me out that they're getting rid of it. And I was like, I was so, I was this close to buying it, man. I was, the deal was I had to pay off my credit card and then I would use the points on it to uh, buy one for like 40 bucks. So I was going to get a deal. So I was waiting. I got, you know, just a little bit more to go to pay off that card. And now they're going away with it. And I'm like, well, I don't see me buying something they're going to throw away. They're going to get rid of. Because I don't want to deal with no support. It blows up. And they don't have another one to replace it, you know, if it fails, if it's failure and stuff. So I don't know now what, now I don't know what to do. Oh, the stress of it all. 
that I need a camera that like I can throw in my pocket and then just be able to pull it out and psh, turn it on and film something. That's what I would like, but I don't know. Maybe there's nothing like that. I don't know. All right, well, we're home, so that's it.